The MCU attempted to explain time travel in Endgame and introduced the idea of a multiverse in the Far From Home trailer. Wait, what's the difference? Well, if you screw up time travel, you create a multiverse. Uh, wrong. Okay, first of all, none of this is real. This is all made up, which makes it hard to define because it can kind of be whatever people want it to be. The way they explain time travel in Endgame got a little tricky. So tricky that the directors and writers aren't even on the same page. But the way the Ancient One explains it, they were saying that changing an event results in creating branches or alternate timelines in the same universe, not a multiverse. So, even though there are a bunch of alternate timelines opened up with all that time travel, that's not the multiverse? Right. And supposedly those branches were erased as soon as the stones were returned to the exact moment that they were taken. So time travel and multiverses are independent of each other. Though in the Far From Home trailer, Nick Fury and Mysterio explain that the multiverse opened after the snap. So it is because of time travel. No, still no. Try and stay with me. Think of it like a tree. A tree is one universe, and there are all these different branches that are still part of the same tree. Those are alternate timelines. You got it? So one universe, multiple timelines, same tree. A multiverse would be like a forest. A billion different trees, each one with its own universe and its own set of timelines. So somewhere out there, there's an evil Spider-Man? Probably, yeah. Nice. What about a super strong Tony Stark? You know what? I would take one where he's still just alive. Yeah, it's all possible in other versions of our universe that things played out a little differently. Like, for example, in your universe, I apparently worked out way more than I do in this one. So that means now there's a chance that the MCU will bring back the characters we know, but they'll be a little different. Evil, maybe? <coughs> yeah, totally. Mysterio is traditionally a supervillain, so he's either lying to Spidey and is still a supervillain, or in his universe, he's a good guy, which is what Nick Fury says in the trailer. Damn, we lost one. <gasps> so maybe Iron Man will come back. Well, with a multiverse, almost anything is possible, which is the fun part of it all. The MCU can use this to bring back different variations of the characters we've grown to love in Phase 4. That slated Black Widow standalone movie might not be a prequel after all. And we might have a world with Tom Holland's Peter Parker and a Miles Morales. Who knows?